Hi everybody, and welcome to today's Diesel Lucy. DieselLucy.com padlock demonstration. Today's padlock is an exciting and special one indeed. This 2B720 is my first best lock ever. It, I got it from eBay seller Dave Cooper, Sierra Pacific Railroad. If you need any best locks, make sure you go check out his items. He is a great seller. This one came with the um, operating key and the control key. And we are going to demonstrate this right here on camera. A keyway core. Here we go. In there you can see the locking lever, see? It's not the ball bearing. Now we're going to use the control key and pull the core out. Watch this. You stick the key in, turn it to the right until it clicks, and then out comes the core. As you can see this lock has the throw member built into it, and this is the core. See? Control. Now I'll show you operating. Operating, you can operate the lock. Alright, now we'll put this core back in. Control key. Lock. And in goes the core. SOCO, I think, stands for Standard Oil Company. And once the core is back in the lock, it's good to go. Alright, that's it for this lock. I have another lock I want to show you that's very special. The lock itself is just your basic 11B72, but the reason it's so special is because none other than Jimster586 gave this lock to me. This one's different from the older style. One, it has a K, it has a K core, K, K keyway core with generic keys and seven pin. And it has the ball bearing locking lever. You can see it in there. Also, this core, th this lock does not have the throw member built into the lock. Let's pull the core out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Seven pin core C. The throw member you stick into the core, see? It meets up with those holes. Just like in the regular best lock, except it's external. Then you stick it back in there. And it's good to go. I'm also going to show you a little bit about the logos on these cores and how they've changed over the years. First I'm going to show you one from the 1920s. See, this one has, once it focuses, the best universal logo. Let's go a little bit later in time to the, the 40s. This one has the same font but without the word universal. Now let's go into the 60s through the 80s. This one right here you can see the font is a little bit different. And now we'll go to the Stanley core, which is this one right here, and you can compare these. Also, I'm going to show you the difference between a newer and an older core on the rear. Let's pull out this core. Once it focuses, there we go, we'll pull the core out, take the throw member out, and look on the rear. See, this one has the C-clip, and this older one also is riveted. It also has, if we can get to focus, it's stamped with the patent dates and everything. This was discontinued probably in the late 40s. So there you have it. Two special best locks, and a little education on best core logos. Hope you enjoyed it, and... That's it.